Hi, welcome back to section 12.2. The next thing that we are going to talk about is solving exponential equations. So the general principle here is if you have a to the x equals a to the y, so same basis raised to an exponent, x equals y. Basically, the, those exponents will be equal to each other. So the question really is, how do I get to use that? So one of the first things you're really going to be doing with these exponential equations is rewriting both sides of your equation so that they have the same base. Sometimes you're going to have to use some exponent rules along the way, especially that power rule where an exponent raised to another exponent means that you're going to multiply the exponents together. Okay. Once you get this, those bases the same and those exponents kind of simplified out, then you can set your exponents equal to each other and you'll have a little equation to solve that isn't too terrible. Okay, so let's try one. So in example two, the first one we have is 25 raised to the x minus 2 equals 125 raised to the x. What I might notice with 25 and 125 is they're both powers of 5. 25 is 5 squared. 125 is 5 to the third power. So you can see how I'm writing it with the same base. I want to see what do they both have. Okay. Then I'm going to use the power rule where I have an exponent raised to another exponent. I multiply them together. So 2 times x minus 2, I will distribute. I'll do 2 times x and get 2x, and 2 times 2 to get 4. So that's really 5 to the 2x minus 4. On the other side, I also have an exponent raised to another exponent, so I'll use that power rule again to multiply those together. 3 times x is 3x. And now I've got it in a format where I have the same base, equal to each other, which means that those exponents have to be equal to each other for that statement to be true. So I'm going to set my exponents equal. 2x minus 4 equals 3x. And then I'll solve my little equation from here. And it's not too terrible. I'm just going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'll have negative 4 equals x, and I'm done. x can be negative in case you guys are worried. You can always have negative exponents, and that's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's see, let's do another one. In part B, I have fractions, which I know can be intimidating sometimes. I have 3 fourths raised to the x equals 16 over 9. Probably the first thing I notice is that 9 is the power of 3, which is really on the top over here, but it's on the bottom over there. And 16 is the power of 4, and 4 is on the bottom, and 16 is on the top. So it's like I'm flipped from where I want to be. So if you ever have that situation, you're like, oh, these are, you know, it's flipped. I want the numerator and denominator to switch places. You can, you know, you can switch 9 and 16. That's raised to the negative first power when you do that, okay? Then let's get them to be 3s and 4s so that we have the same base. So 9 is really 3 squared. 16 is really 4 squared. So if you notice, they both are raised to that second power, so I can kind of undistribute it, right? And have this as 3 fourths raised to the second power and the negative first power. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So now I have the same bases. I can set my exponents equal to each other, so x is negative 2. Now it's your turn. You guys get to try one and show me how much you've learned.